We are live. How are you all? It's Barbara Mastery, your heartfelt CFO. I am so excited to be here with you tonight. I prepared a really good presentation. I am going to wait a few minutes for people to sign on. I am also going to double check that the tech works. If you are here or watching the replay, please say hello. Say where you are coming from. Also, let me know what you're excited about. Like, what made you sign up for this topic? Are you um, just wanting to um, look at this topic because I did it? Or you Please really want to know your numbers? Because you a lot from. of people... Also, let me know what you're excited about. What you're excited yeah. about. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of people have told me that they like to come to my lives because I teach well and that they learn a lot of things and they've been watching me. So whatever it is, let me know um, and send us a congratulations. We worked a little hard on this, putting the logo in the background, uh, really upscaling around the new branding um, and really sharing all of the gifts of HCT. You know, we're really getting uh, things behind the scenes more primed for you um, in the sense of around accounting money and tax. I have some, some fun stories, so let's dive in. I'm going to add to the stage my presentation. We are here tonight for the topic to know your numbers. So many people tell me about they don't know their numbers, they hate their numbers, they don't like math, they don't like budgeting, they think money is terrible. I've heard of all of these money things that people don't like, and I want to get right into that today. Now, who am I? You may be new to my channel. This might be the first time that you are watching me live. You might be watching this on a replay. I'm Margo. I'm the mother of two young adults. I have a 20 year old and 18. Yes, I have young adults that are 20 and 18. I don't call them children. I call them young adults because that's what they really are. Um, I'm a powerful CFO who creates time and money freedom for others. I operate a boutique accounting firm that delivers stellar results. We are actively looking to work with clients who want to keep their money. I wanted to add that into tonight's topic because people come to me for unique results. People come to me because they want to learn about money, not just around accounting and tax results. So if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you are sick and tired of paying the IRS money that you don't want to, and you really want to keep your money, you are in the right place. Now, I just want to put it at the beginning. For whatever reason, we always put it at the end about how to reach me, but I'm going to put this up front. DM me profit. Just be like, Margo, profit. I want to profit more money. You could also text me at the number. This is my business line. And also you can put, you can use the calendar link that's provided, which I will put with this, um, with this live as well. So you have various choices on to contact me. And if you really just want to contact me and say hello and share some nuggets, send that too. But I invite you to get on the call with me about tonight's topic because I want to get you into the driver's seat around your numbers. So the first question I really have for you is, and, and it's a really common question that I have, which is what is the importance of numbers in a company decision making? What is the importance? Now, think about that a second is what is the importance to that? Is there importance in the numbers or in the company decision making process? There's three parts to this on why it's important. The first one is numbers reveal strength and weaknesses. Most business owners have everything in their head. And when you know your numbers, we want to get it down on paper. We want to get it out of your head. You want to see performance trends. You want to see what happens. It could be this time last year you were high. This time last year you were low. You want to figure that out. The last part is the other intelligence for decision making and problem solving. It's another way of an intelligence to make decisions when you know your numbers. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know their numbers. So it becomes a guessing game. Or it becomes a guessing game on a guessing game on a guessing game on a guessing game. 
when it comes like that, the results start to deplete and the profit starts to deplete. And the only person who benefits that is the government and tax and IRS debt and tax debt and credit card debt, <laughs> all forms of the IRS, I can say. The historical data is a valuable report card. F think about that again. The historical data in your company is a report card for your overall business performance. Now, information leaves clues. Sometimes people don't even want to look at it. But what you want to do is it's, you want to have that so that your shareholders, your owners, your investors can have that report card so that you know what you're doing. You can't just set goals without the numbers. You can, but you're not going to get results. What do you need to be aware around your numbers? The two key factors to know around your numbers is clarity and confidence. The two C's, confidence and clarity. You need to have the confidence around your numbers and the clarity on what they represent. Which then brings us to the real question is, how much is this problem costing me? Put into the chat, and if you are on the replay or email, however you are watching this, how much is this problem costing you by not knowing your numbers? How much is this problem costing you by the guesstimate game? Most people here that are listening to this, I would say it's six figures and beyond. If anything, it's more like seven figures. It could be costing your family. It could be costing your loved ones. It could be costing yourself by not accomplishing your purpose. So let's get into the steps on how we can accomplish knowing our numbers. The first step is, is all monthly bookkeeping and, and accounting needs to get done. And there's no two ways about it. It's not even like a DIY system anymore. It's just going to hurt you because what's going to happen is, is that you're going to pay more taxes because you don't know what steps to implement on the front end. We want to see our current behaviors and we want to be able to see comparisons to see the deeper picture. I'm going to give you a story. I was on the phone with a client of mine this week, and she was letting me know some purchases that she made. And with the purchases that she made, we started to see the pattern on her buying things on starting and stopping. We got to a number by the end of the call of $35,000. Her alignment around money on where she was working, she got to the tune of the $35,000 just in a 20 minute call, in that 20 minutes of our 40 minute call. And then the next day, a client called her up and said, I want to pay off my balance. She wasn't even chasing the balances. These things that accumulated to the $35,000, she wasn't even going after. She was like, I don't even need to worry about making more money because if I fix these, I'm going to make more money. The next step is, is to compare the previous years side by side. To be able to look at the previous years side by side is gold, my friends. You want to put a column for the notes on the why behind this all. So next to it, when you have your years side by side, you want to put some notes because you want to see where you're at at the time of when that was. It is so important to see your logic of the previous time to the current. And if you don't have it, you just work the method forward. Now, from there, we're able to set goals because we know what the revenue is by area. We have expenses to run the business, which is the operations, and we could see versus the jobs itself. Now, lots of US contractors in real estate, your operating expenses, they run the business, they run the jobs, and you'll be able to manage and maneuver all of these different areas. Now what we happen is, is now that you went through all these steps, you have a business forward plan. You're able to look at the business and the forward version and really see potential. You're going to be able to think and see more profit and income growth. Now, that means you're taking home more money by doing the same thing. So now your income is growing too because you're doing more of what works. All organically. We don't have to do paid ads. None of that. It's all by the power of intention. We know where we stand. There's no more avoidance. I have to tell you, a client of mine, she was talking about how much she avoids. We did a math calculation of how much time she spent in avoidance, and we got to an annual salary of $25,000 a year of how much it's costing her. And that was just like a quick estimate. Do me a favor, if you're here live or in the replay, do a quick math of what avoidance of this is costing you. 
once you do the math, put that for me. And if you have a hard time, hop on the calendar so that we can go through that. You want to be able, you're now going to be able to measure and evaluate fixed versus variable costs. Now, fixed costs is something like an electric, rent, mortgage, stuff like that. You're going to be able to see salaries. So many people are just paying salaries to pay salaries. I want to give you another story. I was actually watching a movie and this new uh, uh, director of the hospital, he was on this mission to really make things more operational. And one of the things he realized was that so many people had outdated jobs that they were just there for the paycheck because they were just in a dead end. And he literally would just go to them and be like, what do you want to do to create the times more in their job? And it was like, it was really just fascinating. If you want to know that, I'll be happy to share the series with you. So now that you heard all the information, the question is, is what's next? What's the next step to that? I gave you all this information. We talked about a way that you can have a business forward plan. We talked about how now that you can have goals. We talked about the two steps in the bookkeeping process so that you can know, be aware around your numbers and know the importance of your numbers. So if you remember at the beginning of the slide, I showed you how to contact me. And the decision is really, it starts with you. Because if you're not going to work with me, the, the process will just work against you and it's just not going to be an alignment. Make the decision to make a change and let me help you along with my team. These are the various ways to contact me. Either way, however you want to do it. I personally suggest to text me. I love when people do. Using the calendar link is probably the most uh, convenient because uh, you get to choose the time that works for you and then you get all the Zoom access and all of those things. So I hope you follow our, our valuable content that's daily on the social, and you even could go to our website. Now, this is just the daily things that we put out there, and I don't want you to get lost with more information. I want you to be able to take advantage of this call and be able to come on the time with me so that I can take this information and help you lead to more results and bring that into your scenario and help bring it alive. Why can't it be you, the person who saves their $5,000? Maybe it's going to be $350,000. I don't know. I'm supposedly the money finder with clients lately. So who was this call with me not for? It's not for somebody who wants to blame me. It's not for somebody who uh, creates a victim mindset. It's not for somebody who wants to just push off and not do anything. It's somebody who's sick and tired of being sick and tired and doesn't want to work harder, wants to work smarter. I can tell you tonight is Hanukkah and I can't wait to go spend it with my kids. I have my dog and I want to go spend it with, with them. And I tell you, clients that get results are the ones that their lives change. Whether you take me up on this call or not, or not you know whose life is going to change? Not mine. It's going to change yours because I know that the program works and I want to do that for you. And I, I care about your business and I want you to be part of that. So DM me profit, send me a text. Let's talk more and let me know what nugget here tonight really resonated with you so that you can know your numbers. You can create more profit, buy back your time with doing less. I'm so happy you came. I can't wait to see you on the call and I look forward to talking to you soon.